Hello again, my friends. We just finished filming a video for Patreon, and um, I'm always trying to lure you over there, but this time I think there's a video involving a single shot Mossberg 22 and a very unique um, recoil suppression device. Now, 22s you don't usually have a recoil problem, but you could watch the video on Patreon and let me know what you think. It's, um, it's quite unique. Uh, I come across all kinds of guns and some belong on the main channel and some belong on Patreon and if you go there you'll know what I mean. Anyhow, from overseas I had a few requests, um, actually not just from overseas but mostly overseas, about the Heim SR30 and uh, there were maybe a couple of questions about what is the most unique bolt action rifle I have and I would have to say without a doubt uh, it happens to be a straight pull bolt action and that's the high MSR 30 and then the second series of questions which accumulate over the months was how does the SR 30 lock um, and I mean it is very unique so this is um, this is my SR 30 I had it a long time it doesn't look like I've done anything with it uh, because I never really get a chance to do much shooting as I've mentioned to you before although it, it um, it has been to the range and uh, it's quite accurate. I mean, it's a fantastic rifle, beautifully made. And like I said, easily the most unique bolt action and um, head and shoulders above almost all other designs. And you'll see what I mean. So um, removal of the bolt, there's a typical, you know, Mauser type button on the, on the side and then the bolt comes out. So the question was, how does the SR30 lock? And I have a Blazer SR8 on the table. Sorry, Blazer R8, which I'll show you in a second, just for comparison. But here's what Heim was able to accomplish. And you can see that the, 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 uh, the locking element is a series of ball bearings. Now, they, f they flip according to gravity as I'm turning it right now, because there's nothing, there's nothing affecting their movement. Now, naturally, these are extremely hard and um, perfectly fitted. And when you lock the action, which I'll mimic by pushing the bolt handle, now this would be in the locked position. So these cannot move because there is a, let's call it a locking element, which is forcing the ball bearings out. And until you pull the handle back, those ball bearings are locked out. Now you can see once you move the handle backwards, um, the bolt can slide back and forth quite quickly because there's nothing here. There's, there's a tube uh, inside of a pipe, which would be the action. So this slides back and forth very quickly and the locking bearings fit inside recesses here in the receiver ring. Uh, it's like I said, it's an unbelievable design and some people look at these ball bearings uh, doubtfully thinking well that can't be very strong and uh, the, I actually would have to say the opposite um, the spherical shape is I think the, the strongest by far geometrical shape and then with the right materials I don't know how you would actually blow up this action uh, just remarkable strength and a different way of locking and a different way of measuring bearing surface which is usually how you determine um, the strength of an action. Other than that uh, it has some clever features and there's even a little bit of a safety bearing here at the back which is kind of cute actually because the other straight pull bolt actions rely on the on the on the front locking system and this one they actually have a little bearing at the back. It's quite cute. Anyway, they're hard to find these SR30s and they'll probably stop making them one of these days. This one has a set trigger. I think I've shown you this this rifle before, but maybe not. Uh, it has the turn off like EAW um, mounts. Uh, I think they came with a rifle, I can't remember. Wood isn't too fancy, but for hunting it's almost perfect. So I'll, uh, I hope that answers your question questions about how the SR30 locks and whether it's safe yeah absolutely safe I wouldn't hesitate to use this under any circumstances it's um, and there are tests that have been done 
And I don't know if they ever actually accomplished blowing this up. Other things failed before the action failed. I think the barrel. Um, and then this is the more common straight pull bolt, of course. That's the, the Blazer R8. And on the Blazer, um, it's this collet that you can see how it expands. So, I mean, the trick in the, in the straight pull bolt game is how do you get the locking elements out of the way so you don't have to turn the action, although the Merkel Helix is a turn bolt, straight pull. That's pretty smooth, but uh, the, once this collapses in, then the bolt can move backwards with very little effort. And that's the lock position, that's the open position, so that's sort of self-evident. And um, the, the Heim accomplishes that same concept of mechanical function, but with ball bearings. So it's not a collar that's or collet that's collapsing, it's ball bearings. And which of the two is stronger? I, I, I think they're both tremendously strong, but I would guess that this, this, this system will be just about impossible to move. And even if it did move, the bolt would be off center when one or another of these let go. So it would, it would simply bind in the channel of the bolt. It couldn't move. I've seen pictures of these sometimes failing but you know you just don't know what people are up to but I like the R8 it's got a better bearing surface than the R93 and uh, so I, I just thought it so you're all familiar I'm sure by now with the R8 working and that is um, that is probably it so I hope that like I said um, covers the subject if you can pick one of these up I encourage you to and please um, as soon as you finish watching this video, subscribe. Uh, I, I try to mention that on every video. It's, it's crucial to the channel that people subscribe. Uh, and again, if you have any questions or queries about the SR30 or, or any firearm, um, I'd be delighted to answer them as soon as I can and make the video that you request. And hopefully you can join me on Patreon for that very unique um, recoil suppression system. All right, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.